Hey guys, I'm Adam Benson, a Senior Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. In this video, I'll break down the steps to move your DriveWorks data from one location to another. The first step is to locate all files that will be moved. I suggest getting familiar with each file type so you have a good understanding of everything that will be relocated. You can review these by using the link in the description. In this example, we'll be moving a DriveWorks project, SolidWorks files, some existing specifications, and release files. We'll need to copy all of these files into a shared drive so we can access them from the new server. Once on the new server, we can grab the files and place them in the new location. Now that the data has been moved to the new server, we need to update the locations for the group. This is done on a client machine using the data management tool. When launching this tool, you'll need to connect to your group. It's highly recommended to create a backup of the group before proceeding. So if you're not sure how this works, use the link in the description. Now that we're logged in, we will start with updating the location for the captured information. Select captured information from the left. This will include all captured SOLIDWORKS models and drawings. If these files exist in the same location, you can bulk update the location by expanding the folder structure on the left, right-clicking on the folder where just the captured models and drawings you want to update exist, and select Change Location. If these files are in different locations, you can also do this by right-clicking on the individual document and choosing Change Location. After clicking Change Location, simply browse to the new folder where you move the models and drawings and click Select Folder. Now let's update the project's location. This is done in a similar fashion, only this time we are dealing with the actual project files. Because I only have one project to move, I'll browse to this one independently and update its location. I've also got some specifications that I moved as well. We need to make sure the group is updated with the new location so we can run operations or transition them based on the options available in the specification flow. Again, because I moved all of the specifications and they exist in a single folder, I can select that folder and update the location for all specifications. The models and drawings generated from the specifications that we just moved will also get updated. Each released model and drawing is listed under Released Files, and these files also include a reference back to the master models that are found under Released Master Files. Both locations will need to be updated. Other document locations may also need to be updated. Be sure to reference your list of moved documents. If you have user forms that include picture boxes, that reference images, or other document types, you may need to update the location using the Rule Builder. Also, from the document section of the Administrator Task Pane, if you've added documents here or are referencing templates and these files have moved, click on them, choose Edit, then expand Options, and under Master File, either change the location or click Browse and browse to the new location. And finally, if you're connecting to external databases and these databases have moved, they will need to be reconnected. These might include functions within the rule builder, such as get data or query data, but could also be ODBC connections established through defined tables or exported data document types. Congratulations, you've successfully moved your DriveWorks data. Be sure to check out our other videos and subscribe. Thanks for watching.